Welcome back to the Mobile Fun YouTube channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest accessories for your devices. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between MagSafe wireless charging and normal wireless charging. Before I begin, to purchase any of these products, please visit the links in the description below. Now MagSafe is only available on iPhone 12s and newer. So if you have an Android phone, you don't need to worry. Wireless charging allows phones and other devices to charge over a very short distances without the need to plug anything into the phone. This is really convenient as it allows you to place your phone on your bedside table, for example, and then it just charge up. So what's the difference between this and MagSafe wireless charging? Well, MagSafe wireless charging works in the same way but it lines itself up using magnets that are built into the phone and wireless charger. This helps to alleviate some of the issues with normal wireless charging, as if, if you don't line up the phone correctly with the charger, your phone won't charge as quick, or in a worse scenario, it won't actually charge at all. As Apple have not actually changed how the wireless charger part functions, you can still charge up on normal wireless chargers as well as MagSafe wireless chargers. For me, what I like about MagSafe wireless charging is it allowed us to get some better first and third party accessories. For instance, Apple's MagSafe battery bank. This charges up via lightning, then when you need to top up your phone battery, you simply snap it to the back of your phone and it starts charging. Or things like this stand as well, which will hold your phone up off the surface and charge it and makes it look a little bit cleaner on your bedside table. You can then also use the bottom part, which has another wireless charger built in, to charge your AirPods. However, normal wireless charging has not stood still either. Nomad, for instance, sell a base station which houses 18 wireless charging coils in, which means wherever you place your phone on it, it will charge. And beyond that, you can even charge three devices at once. I think all this progress is great and a lot better than when wireless charging was first around. Wireless charging was brought in to make charging your devices more convenient and ultimately I think it's a lot easier than plugging your phone in every single night. So there are some subtle differences between normal wireless charging and MagSafe wireless charging. However, it's not drastic. So if you don't have an iPhone 12 or 13, don't rush out and buy one just to MagSafe wireless charge as you can still use a normal wireless charger like this to charge up your iPhone 10, 11, or 12, or 13. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. To purchase any of these products we've talked about, head to the links in the description below, and let us know your thoughts on MagSafe charging. 